Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. In this video, I want to look at the companion app for Rust. Um, first of all, I want to look at, at the admin perspective. So how do you install it and link it up with your server? And if you already have a server, thankfully, it's pretty simple to set it up and link it. And then I want to look at it from a player perspective. How do you join the server and link it with your app? What can you do with it? And just have a little demonstration of what things you could be doing if you're already into electricity. So let's dive in. First of all, let's go to the admin section and install it on our server. If you're not an admin and you just want to see it from a player perspective, look in the video description. There will be a chapter and there you can click on and just watch it as a player. So we got the wiki from Facepunch for the Rust Companion server or Rust Companion app. And this is what I'm looking at right now. And as you can see also on the right, you will see my screen from my uh, telephone as you can see it doesn't say i have any servers uh, hooked up but we're gonna fix that right now but first we have to install it on our server if you have a server hosted by a company like game server kings or whatever other host you use um, i got a message saying hey go to the controls panel and uh, just follow the instructions so if you have a um, if you don't host it locally there will probably be a protocol or a thing you have to follow just contact your hosting company and they will help you if you host it locally this is what you got to do so it says that you do full port of the game plus 67 or your archon port plus at least 67 so in my case my uh port was 28015 uh, or sorry 28016 because that's the higher one which is the um archon port so i just added 67 or my calculator added 67 and i get 28083 so I went into my port forwarding section in my router. And if you're unfamiliar with this, um, I'm not really going to go into depth due to this. I have tutorials on this. So go to my channel and there will be videos on how to host your own server, how to make sure your friends can join, etc. Um, but just for this uh, sake, I'm, I'm going to assume you already have a server running. You got a port forwarding, so you know what to do there. I'm just going to show you what you have to add. So here it says the only thing you have to do is add a TCP entry to port forward it and make sure it's open and add your firewall rules if your firewall is being annoying. So what I did, I went to my port forwarding. You can see here, I just called it Rust app. I made sure it's TCP because that's what they told me to do. I added 67 to the highest port, which for me was 28016. So that's 28083. Um, and it says here what my uh, IP address is, um, which I will be blocking. And it says port uh port assigned externally is also the same so just did it like this and i enabled the sharing and this way i added it to my server if you then run your server and uh, just connect to it so you can see here i have my server running so if you want to test this uh, they, they link you to a tool and you can just use this example so leave this if you go to the website here it already says ws and then i added my ip address and my port 280 a3 and just press connect and it says connected so this way you can test if you made the connection uh properly or if it all worked and once again this is linked down here where it says this tool and just look at the example because first i just put in my ip and my port and it didn't work make sure you put this ws colon slash slash in front of it otherwise the test doesn't work but if you do that it should say successfully and now we're going to test it in our server. I am connected to it. And as you see, can see on my um, recording on my phone, it still says no servers. So I'm, with me connected to the server, I'm going to press escape, uh, click on Rust Plus, And then it says this is uh, enabled. And I can just resend it because I already did it and removed it. But it will say disabled and you have to say enable. And now you can see on my phone, it says the information. It says the picture. This is just my testing server. And um, it says the link of the or the, the website of the server. So I can just click pair. And now you can see that it's paired with my phone. So in game, we have the smart alarm and we have the smart switch. The smart switch, you have to have um, tool cupboard access. Otherwise, you cannot switch it. And only if you have access, you can turn it on and off. So I'm just going to select my server. And you can see in the app, we have a few options. We can look at the map and we cannot just look at the map. We can also see where we are. And this is in real time. Um, if I start flying, you will see that it will start updating. And then if I do a teleport command to go back to my bed, you will see that in about three, 
two, one ish it starts updating so it's pretty real time there's about three seconds delay which is really good if you're even if you're in a fight or stuff this is pretty good so that's really handy you can zoom in you can zoom out of course and look at the whole map look where your team is if you tick on the top right you have a few options you can get notifications for all these things um and turn them on and off individually what you want and also keep the screen awake if you have the app open in front of you or whatever or next to you so you want to make sure that it doesn't disconnect um, and stays connected in case you go to bed and want to have a alarm when you get raided or something if you're really that hardcore which is possible so we are going to have to link up some devices this is my imaginary base with my turret on top of it if i go to these alarms the way it's uh, set up i have a power source which is for me just the test generator uh going to a splitter which is not really necessary but i wanted to have more uh power outs just for a real life situation this goes to a smart switch um which will send me a message when i turn it on and this is my defense system so this will send me a message saying edit message smart switch switch one defense on so if i turn this on it will turn say on my phone once we link it all, defense is on. Then I have uh, one power going to my turret, which is on the roof. And that has three options. It has no ammo, low ammo, and has target. So on all these three stages, or whatever you want to call it, you can have a notification sent to you. So in my case, I have one hooked up to the has target. So if someone is... Uh, probing my base and keeps going back and uh, or i keep getting the has target has target has target i know they're probably around my base and trying to either drain it or raid me or something and then you can choose either no ammo but then it's already too late or low ammo and you can also get a message when it's on low ammo so you know you have to go back online if that is a possibility and refill your turret so let's turn this on or actually let's link it up first so what i'm going to do I already set these up. If you hold E, you can click edit message. I already did all that. So I get air low ammo and I gave them the proper name, etc. Roof target acquired. So do that first. And then if you hold E, you can do pair. And once you do that, you should automatically get a message. And since I've been messing around with it, I also get the, the message in game. There are too many players subscribed. In the beginning, I didn't get this message. Um, that's probably just because I've been looking at how it works and disconnecting them connecting them etc so on my phone i'm just going to give it a name um i'm unsure which one this one is so this is the target acquired so i'm going to say alarm target pair and let's do that for the other ones as well so now we got those all three connected now if i turn on this you will see that i also get a notification saying device on and it says uh, low ammo inactive and alarm uh, targeted also inactive you will see that if i turn this off and leave around 20 bullets in it and turn it back on you will see that i get the same thing but also the low ammo is triggered and i also get a notification for this get over here now so that's kind of how you would set it up you would get a notification when it's on if you get raided and they break your power source you will see that everything is turned off um if i would de um, deauthorize myself and run around you would every time someone targets it you would get a message so this is this is really interesting and this adds a whole nother level of staying connected and being part of the team you can also see your team i didn't make one uh i'll make one create a team and then you can also see all the messages and who is online i think yeah mcp you can see at the top who was online um which is interesting so you can see when people join and you can chat with them even when you're not in the game so just stay updated what is going on on the server once again it adds a whole nother layer of taking away your life <laughs> if you want to get rid of a device you can just um tap on the picture and you can press delete in the bottom left if you press on the name or like here if you try to click here it doesn't work you really have to click on the picture uh, i tried del deleting it by moving in it and you can reorder it by holding the little 
uh, dots on the left. I was trying to remove it by dragging it and stuff, but you have to really press on the picture if you want to change the name, turn the notifications on and off for individual um, alarms. You can also, let's say you don't want to have the alarms, but you do want to know if your player is dead or if, you, if your player died or when your team logs on or the other way around, you, do, you can do that. Or like I showed, you can do it for individual individual alarms in here all at once or individual i think for now that's kind of it because yeah the other option you have is getting the news which is nice also for when there's an update you might be able to now get a notification when a new update of rust is out instead of having to uh, watch rustified no disrespect i love the streams but having to watch a stream just to know when the update is live also for server owners is kind of annoying Yes, there are like comet commits and stuff, but just having a notification pop up on your phone is nice, um, which I hope is a feature. I think it's really cool. Um, I don't play Rust that much anymore, definitely not on this level, but if I would be online, I would definitely be using this because I love the electricity stuff. So well done, Face Punch. And I hope this kind of explains for admins, for players, what to expect and what you can do with it, or at least give you one example of something you could do with it. Hopefully this was helpful. If you liked it, please like the video, subscribe, click the bell. You know the drill. Thank you for watching. As always, I'm out. Peace. Ah!